Hi, it's Lauren with the Bulimia Betty blog. I am both excited and sad to share with you some news that I learned today. I have been going to see a, um, I don't know if he's a doctor or what. Anyway, his name is Michael Payne. He's awesome. He has a company called Living Well Today International. It's lwtinternational.com and I just started going there namely because my massage therapists share space with their offices and um, I had a sore throat this week and I thought my gosh I thought I had gotten over all this weird sickness and they have this thing called the Zyto Z-Y-T-O and you put your hand on it it looks like a mouse with metal on it and it's connected to the computer and it basically runs a scan on your body and I knew that it was the real deal when it scanned my body for for drugs and and what works with my body and what doesn't. And they said, so Lauren, what what drugs really don't agree with you? And I said, well, number one, I can't take Z-Packs. They give me a crazy like rash, and I'm not supposed to take them because they're afraid of anaphylactic shock. So um, number one on the list from the Zyto scan was Z-Packs, as as the said. Um, so today, they were like, okay, something's up, she's got swollen tonsils, the white junk, and, you know, sore throat, fatigue. It feels like I felt when I had mono, and so they ran a scan, and in fact, I'm dealing with a mono, or mono-like virus, and they said, this isn't just a recent thing, and I said, well, I've never been diagnosed with mono except for this February, but I've gotten sick really like clockwork every single year, several times a year, whenever I work too hard or get stressed out. And they said, well, you know, when did that start? And I thought back and I thought, oh my gosh, 1999. We had on our crew team a mono outbreak in 1999. It was my first year of college. Of course, you know, you're staying up late and we were getting up early to practice and we're working really hard and you know wrecking our bodies and then on the weekends drinking like 14 drinks in one night and not sleeping and can you imagine why someone would get mono well I was never diagnosed but they think that I've had mono recurring over the past 10 years blessing and a curse um, blessing is that I know what it is now and that I <laughs> have been completely entitled to the very regular naps that I've been taking my entire adult life. And <laughs> the need for naps has been one of the reasons I've rejected conventional work hours. Because <laughs> it's hard if you're feeling tired to go be in an office all day long without a nap. And then um, the other thing too is that now I have something that I can attack and treat and cure. So I'm really excited to know exactly what has been going on and also um, am really thankful for this new technology and for Michael Payne at Living Well Today International for this um, this discovery because this is going to change my life. I thought that all my health issues were just fallout from eating disorder and it's possible that that's a part of it but now I know that you know it was just that I've had this viral infection that has not gone away. So now is the time to address it and feel better. So I wanted to share that. Hopefully that might give you some insight. If you want to contact Living Well Today International, they can do work with you over the phone. They have clients all around the world, some in Tunisia, um, Australia, all over the place that have the, the little Zyto hand thing and you actually plug it into your computer with an internet connection and it can scan you from afar. So if you're curious about that, hit me up, let me know. And other than that, have a lovely day. Peace.